Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Realm of the Mad God. We are back here with our assassin, and what I have done before this recording is I have gone and I have sold all of my fame for, well, basically stat potions. So I, I upped all of my defense, and let's see, left to max. Speed is probably getting pretty close. Three more speed, yeah, so... That's what I did for this because I figured we probably want to uh, have some fun with him. And I'm not actually quite sure if the, uh, the, the server is going to be up that much longer. So might as well use the fame that we have. And, you know, we're, we're going to have some fun with it anyways. So that is what I did before recording this. I also just got done recording for about 30 minutes and realized that my audio was all messed up. So that was fun. So, how's it going, Gold Slay? You were doing a Shatters. What happened, man? Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me, baby. Uh, good movie. That's the Goofy movie. Uh, what do we got? What's the... Skull Shrine. All right. Okay. We're just going to spell bomb. You got an acclaim and... A, un okay, nice, man. Very nice, very, very nice. All right, we got some stuff. Definitely got a lot of good loot in the last video. So I'm hoping to get even more in this episode as well. Mm, we'll drop that, we'll drink that. I, I'm not in the mood for, for saving stuff. We're just gonna have fun. We're gonna go from event to event. There's a skull shrine somewhere around here. All right, sounds good. And, and that's kind of what we're gonna do today. But what I wanted to talk to you guys about because it's something that's that a lot of people have been talking about recently and so I wanted to to give my thoughts on the matter was monetization and YouTube and the reason why this is has been coming up lately is because YouTube has had a lot of big changes with how you can monetize your content and so whenever <coughs> excuse me sorry about that Whenever there's there's changes of that kind, people are always freaking out. They're always saying, oh, this is going to be the end of YouTube or whatever they always say, you know. And, uh, and that's kind of what you get. So, first off, before we get into what changes they have made, let us talk about how you make money on YouTube. And I'm sure that everybody already knows this by now, but in, in case you don't, uh, basically, YouTubers put advertisements on their videos whenever you as a viewer watch that advertisement then a content creator gets paid a portion of the revenue that was generated by the advertisement agencies not by the advertisement agencies by youtube uh by giving you an ad to display basically so there are several different types of ads. There's the unskippable ads, the ones that run at the very beginning. Sometimes they're like a mid-roll or something. Um, those pay the most. And the reason why is because they're the most intrusive and it's a full video, so there's a lot of advertisement uh, there, basically. Am I the only one here killing this thing? Because if so, I, I've almost killed it. What does this take? 80. Okay, cool. Nope, there's somebody else here now. Perfect. And so, yeah, so the, the unskippable ones, they pay the most. Of course, if you skip the video, if you just don't watch the content, then the content creator just doesn't get paid. So that's how that works. Uh, that was definitely stupid on my part. I meant to hit F. I hit R because I is a dumbass. So let's go ahead and just heal up. Good enough. Probably would have gotten something good from that one, too. That's unfortunate. Oh, we're, we're here with this. Okay. I wonder, does that, will that carry over? Does that carry over the damage that I did do it? Is what I want to know. I kind of want to watch somebody else kill this. So I can see if it carries over that damage or not. We're, get, we're just going to do it, though. We're just going to kill it. There we go. Or, or at least help, too. There is the 30-second skippable ads. 
the ones with the little skip in the bottom right corner. Those ones pay the second highest amount because it's intrusive and also because people can skip it. If somebody skips it, then you don't get paid for that advertisement. Although I believe if they watch a majority of it, you still get paid. Maybe not as much, but at least some amount of that revenue. The third time, or the third type is of course the little banners in the corner. Oh, thank you for healing me, good sir. Uh, I will take that. It's not what we really need, but you know, it's fine. So the third type is the little banner ads at the bottom of the videos. These ones pay the least amount, but you get paid whenever it shows up on the screen. So those, uh, you know, not, you, you don't get paid very much. Let me just put it this way. The average CPM, which is how much money you make per thousand ad impressions or, or views rather is like a dollar. So Every time that you watch an ad, the YouTuber gets a tenth of a cent. Now, that being said, oh, is that? Oh, that's one that we already did. Let's get rid of that so I don't get confused. Now, that is after YouTube takes their cut as well. Keep in mind, YouTube has to make some money off of this as well because they're the hosting service. They provide a service, and they're also connecting you to the advertisement agency, so they take a 45% cut, and then the YouTuber takes the other 55%. So really, they probably made about $2 on that video, and then the YouTuber gets about a dollar of it, and, the, and YouTube gets about a dollar of it or so. That being said, it is very difficult to make any real money on YouTube because of how little you get paid for every advertisement. And so a lot of YouTubers are starting to go towards Patreon or, or selling merchandise or donations or streaming or all sorts of other things um, in order to make money off of making YouTube videos because advertisement is... Uh, it's, it's cyclical. You get paid a lot more during different times of the year. Uh, specifically, you get paid more during the holidays because that's when advertisement rates are the highest because everybody wants to advertise their products to be sold during the holidays. Um, it also, you know, at any given time, YouTube could say we're just not paying advertisements anymore or we're going to screw around with it and you get paid a lot less. As more people start doing YouTube videos, uh, you get paid less and less as well just because that amount of money coming into YouTube is getting stretched thinner and thinner. And so there's a lot of uh, stuff associated with that. But lately, and the reason why, let, let's finally get into the reason why we're talking about this, YouTube has made some big changes to how they do advertisements on YouTube. One of the big ones is if you are a new channel and you have under 10,000 total views combined on all of your videos, that's channel views, that's not per video views, then you can't monetize your, your content, uh, which, which kind of makes sense. It's kind of like why, oh yeah, let's do a ghost ship. Like we're going to, yeah, it, it's really there. And the, the reason they said that they're doing this is because there's a bunch of people who just like make a channel at just to like post lyric videos or steal other people's content and if they're not able to monetize because they don't have enough views at the beginning then hopefully that will mean that that practice stops that's the the thought anyways that's the reason that they're giving i think the big uh, another big part of it <gasps> oh 40 hp Oh, man. Whew. All right. The other reason why that I don't think that they're really talking about is they do want to incentivize the, the people who've been there longer who are actually making money for YouTube over uh, the smaller channels that probably don't actually make YouTube any money. And the reason why is because YouTube itself is not profitable. Every year they post a loss. Uh, it's just there's an extraordinarily you know, expensive to host all these trillions or whatever of hours of videos that they get every year. And they're, they're, they're just not making money off of it. So, all right, let's get into the, the crux of the issue. 
and the, the reason why this all started, basically, there was an article by the Wall Street Journal basically showing that YouTubers, uh, or actually, let me back up, it was showing that advertisements were being played on videos that had sensitive information. Maybe they were, I don't know, ISIS recruitment ads or, or videos or something, stuff that no advertisement agency would want associated with their brand. And because of that, a bunch of advertisers and uh, a lot of the big ones uh, kind of basically pulled all of their advertisements from YouTube. And YouTube lost something like $750 million because of it, because of this article by the Wall Street Journal. And so what they've been doing is they've been trying to make it so that all of the videos on YouTube are advertiser friendly. And what constitutes advertiser friendly? They have some guidelines, but it's pretty vague. Basically, swearing and all sorts of other stuff is, is kind of out. All right, we're going to try this. Cube God, help me. All right. See what we can do. I basically just want to get close enough I can just bomb the hell out of him with my poison. Is, is what I'm trying to do here. We'll kill this guy in, in the meantime. All right, cube god. See if we can get close enough. I also don't want to lose our, our guy here. That's the caveat. All right, we got one shot in on him. Oh, Slode's not going to help us get closer to him. All right, two shots in on him. That is the good thing about this class. You can get close enough to get sights on. Do your bomb. It's not a bomb. It's not It's not a wizard. Do your stuff and your thing. And then get out of there. All right. I think we got him with our that last poison. I'm hoping that we did. I, I feel like we did a lot of damage there. Doesn't look like we got any loot, which is unfortunate. All right, so YouTube has been pushing for more quote-unquote advertiser-friendly videos. And so the first thing that they did was they said, all right, we're going to add a restricted mode. And so if your video uh, gets flagged for stuff that we don't want advertisements on, then we're going to demonetize that video. A lot of people got hit with this. There's a lot of good videos that should not have gotten hit with this that did. For instance, if you had a video about suicide prevention and you use the word suicide in your video, then you probably got demonetized. Now, the good news is that there is an appeals process for that. I had one video affected, which was a video for the game Insurgency, which has probably got picked up because Insurgency is a code word for, you know, Middle Eastern ISIS type stuff that's going on. I said, this video isn't about what you think it's about. YouTube said, you're right. Here, have your monetization back. And, and that was basically it. So I got hit with one of them. It wasn't too bad. Uh, it wasn't horrible. But there are some some channels that just got reamed. It's like all of their videos got demonetized, even if they shouldn't have. We almost just died to a Medusa. That, that was almost very, very bad. That could have been very bad. Um, let's just do this. Hey, D S G S N P E. Thanks, man. I appreciate it, man. Let's, uh, oh, a ghost ship. Yes, please. Wait till they get a little bit closer and we'll teleport in for the win. All right, here we go. We we're going the wrong way. Uh, I do not take donations on Realm of the Mad God, but I do appreciate the thought. Well, oh my god, which way is this freaking ghost ship? There it is. All right. And so the first thing that they did was that they basically... Anything good? You want to do a Davy Jones locker? Let's do it. Why not? They added the restricted mode. And what that says is like... You can set it so that, you know, if your kids are playing or, or watching or something, you can set it so that only, you know, stuff suitable for children or whatever will, will, will be there. Is there no way out of this? I'm the only one here. 
Is nobody else gonna join me? Am I all alone? Okay. I should get out of here. There we go. I was waiting to be able to type rum without dying a horrible, horrible death. Lucky Jin. Okay. Oh, the, the thing's still in the corner. I got one, one key for the next time I'm in a Davy Jones, apparently. All right. So that was the first thing that happened. Now, the next thing that happened, which happened today, at the time that I recorded this, is it leaked out that YouTube added a thing to where advertisers can say, I don't want my videos on any videos with profanity or any videos about, I don't know, rape or, or ISIS stuff or news. Or, and you can filter, they can filter what uh, ads will play on what, which is actually a, a good system. And it's probably a good thing that they did add that because they need to get these advertisements back on board. Because if you think about it, if the advertisers aren't happy, they're not going to run ads, which means you're not going to get paid, which means that if YouTube doesn't do anything, then nobody gets paid, basically, right? And that's kind of what's, what's been going on. Now, there's been a huge uproar about this. People will be like, oh, man, now everything's going to be demonetized on my channel because I use profanity or because I'm a suicide hotline, suicide prevention channel or, or whatnot, right? But you have to think about it from YouTube's point of view. YouTube is a business, and they are a business... They are a business uh, to make money and they have not been profitable and now they're even less profitable now. And so you have to think about it. If there's a way for them to make more money, they are going to do that. And demonetizing people is, is not a way for them to make more money. They're going to make less money. So if you think about it, why would YouTube do something to make less money? And so the, the real reason is because they have to do something or else nobody's going to make any money. And so there's a lot of people who are like, oh, my God, they're, they're, they're going to make it so small channels can't make money. It was like, well, if they don't do anything, nobody's going to make money anyways. They have to do something. And so... That's uh, that's what's going on. Uh, he was asking me what time I was streaming. I can't remember if it was this recording or my last one where I talked about that. But let's talk about that for a second here. Um, I, I either way, I support what YouTube's doing because I know that they're going to be doing whatever they can in order to to keep us creators happy as much as they can. You know, I I don't see this as a, an attack on smaller creators. I see this as them trying to kind of to keep afloat. You know, so that's that's kind of what's going on. How's it going? Fire. Fire is one of my guildies here. Hold on. Oh, yes. Let's do another a ghost ship. That'd be amazing. That'd be amazeballs. Let's do this. All right. Let's talk about streaming. I've been streaming every single night. Uh, YouTube. Uh, gaming.youtube.com slash Gamer, and I've been doing basically well lately I've been playing player unknowns battlegrounds I might change it up and do some party you know jackbox party pack type stuff or or something fun with you guys every once in a while or or other games uh, but don't really need that Davy Jones nah whatever a sphinx yeah let's do that we're gonna do this and we're gonna end the episode because I've already done this twice but basically, uh, I've been streaming every night. The first night that I streamed, I got raided by my friend Julie, who has almost 200,000 subscribers. And I had like 250 people in my stream, which was amazing. I talked about that in my last Realm of the Mad God video. Since then, I've been getting, I don't know, 10 to 20 people, which isn't bad for somebody who's only been streaming for a few days, you know? So, but, you know, I've been having fun. If you want to check it out, I stream... Basically every night that I can, you know. Uh, but I'm going to leave it there. We, we've been having fun with it. Ah, do you, yeah, let's do another ghost ship. We'll do one last ghost ship because I love them so much. Uh, yeah, so we've been streaming every night from 8 to 10 p.m. That's Colorado time, which is Mountain Daylight time. 
uh yeah so if, if you want to come come check it out i'm also on twitch i i've been restreaming to there as well but honestly i might just do youtube for now on because it seems like the better platform for me but that is all I have for you guys today. I definitely appreciate you guys uh, stopping by and hanging out and watching this video. I hope that you found it at least somewhat entertaining and or informative uh, in, in some way, shape, or form. Hopefully we'll get something good from this guy. Uh, we we did not. Not as good as of loot the, from the, the previous recording, but that is all I have. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode.